seriously hurt. And as our Jermon Terry tells us, police had to take down the animal to keep everyone safe. Jermon. Eric and Joe, what a scary situation for neighbors, but especially for the owner of these dogs. Now, neighbors tell me that they heard cries for screams coming from this block, but they could instantly tell that those screams were for distress. And when they stepped outside, they found that dog attacking both owners. The, and they tell me the only way that they could save the couple was to shoot that animal. Emergency crews and Elgin police quickly filled this quiet neighborhood after neighbors called 911. I thought to myself, what the heck is going on? The loud yells from a man and woman echoed when their dog, for reasons unknown, turned on them and attacked. A couple were walking their dog and they got, got angry at another dog and then it attacked the owner. That attacked both of the owners and uh, it finally grabbed the woman's arm and it got both of her arms tore down to the bone. Witnesses say once the dog locked down on the woman, the man tried his best to get her free. He was even injured in the attempt. By the time officers arrived, Elgin police say the responding officer had no choice but to pull out his weapon. And then the officer pulled a gun and shot the dog. It was, there was no, no way to get that dog to turn loose. It was, it was clamped on so hard they, they were trying for five minutes to get the dog off. Killing the dog was the only way police and witnesses say the dog let go. Once free, the injuries to the woman were so severe, the officer started a tourniquet to keep the woman from bleeding. She was bleeding from so many places. It was, it was awful. Neighbor Mark Freshhauer says the actions of the officers by shooting the dog, but also tending immediately to the woman's injury were nothing more than heroic. I already told them I appreciated their service and, and uh, how fast they responded. Now, police say the two victims will thankfully survive. They are listed in serious condition at a nearby hospital. Reporting live in Elgin tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS News, Chicago. Thanks, Jermont.